Previously in Norwich's Nook, I used these white paper straws from the Dollar Tree and foam board to create these beautiful wall planters which can actually double up as wall scones. If you haven't watched that video yet, make sure to check it out right after this video. Meanwhile, for today's video, show sure real. <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back again to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Nora G. All right, so right now what you're seeing on screen are submissions from my followers who actually recreated the marquee numbers and letters. I could not be even more prouder. My apologies if you did not see your work featured on here today. There were just a lot of them and I know that it's going to take us a lot of time if I try to show all of them. But I do promise I will try better next time. So please, if you're new on this channel, do hit that subscribe button and join this family. Meanwhile, today's video, I will be creating another marquee numbers, marquee number three and five. And while doing so, I'll be answering some of your questions like how to get your marquee numbers to stand and many more. So stay tuned and let's get on. Okay, so first up, we'll be creating marking number five, okay? And just like I had mentioned earlier, I will be answering a lot of your questions today. So this is more or less a question and answer session while we craft, okay? So this will be fun. All right, so first question was about printing and putting the puzzle together. There was a misconception that uh, you have to basically print this out as one giant number. No, so all you need is regular printing and then you will lay out the puzzle like you're currently seeing me do. Another question was which one was better, the X-Acto knife or cutlass electric cutter? So this is very, very subjective. For me, both of them are actually good, but it's up to you which one is more favorable for you, okay? So I use um, both of them interchangeably. Of course, one is faster, but it is up to you to choose and also check your pockets. Another question I got was how do I get to determine the sides or the frames for my marquee numbers and letters and my answer to that is that it depends on you okay so I switch this up every time and it also depends on the size you're going for if it's 5 feet 4 feet 3 feet or 2 okay so just eyeball it for this 3 feet marquee number 5 I am cutting them at 5 inches Next is how do you get to make them curvy? So I have two methods. So for method one, you can score them using your exacto knife. And I also got questions asking how much space I marked in between. It doesn't matter. I just go with the measurement um, on the weed on my ruler. Sometimes I don't. I just use the exacto knife and basically make the lines across to score them. And then I just go ahead to fold them like you can see me do right now. Easy. However, method two is my current favorite. I don't get to score them. I just fold them like you currently see me seeing me do. And that's just as good as method one. But it's just a little bit more faster. Okay? So it's up to you. Okay, so now that I have all my frames ready, now it's time for us to assemble our number five, our marquee number five. Glue gun ready. <laughs> okay, so first off, we're going to start in the center as usual. The same rule for number zero would apply in this situation. Number zero, number eight, number nine, number six. Start from the center and work your way out. Alright, so while I continue to work on our frames, our next question is a very common one which I have gotten a lot. Which is, how many foam bars do I need for each number? Well, to answer this question, I do have seven marking numbers and letter DIY videos on this channel and for each of those videos in the description box I did put in the number, the total number of foam boards I used. However, I still strongly recommend that when you do lay out your templates, make sure that you are eyeballing it carefully so that you know exactly how many foam boards is needed. Okay, that will save you a lot of trouble. And now for our question of the day. The most asked question which is how do you get to make your marquee numbers to stand perfectly, to be sturdy, to not fall and all of that, okay? So this is what I came up with. So you cut out a square or a rectangle and then you go ahead to cut out a 45 degree angle foam board which we will use on the back of our marquee number. 
you can use this on any of the numbers and letters okay and it works just fine some of the numbers and letters don't even need this and sometimes even the rounded numbers will stand just okay but if you're worried um, about it maybe falling over you you can go ahead and do this so just watch as I do this. Meanwhile, if you've watched right up to this point, you know the drill. This is a party decoration DIY, so please do comment party decor in the comments section and show your girl some love. Thank you. I hope this technique helps answer your question in regards to making them stand. And also you can check out my marking number 18 um, video for another technique on how to make rounded bottom numbers or letters stand, okay, besides this. I'll have that video linked in the description box below and also at the top of the screen right at this moment. So now on to marking number three. This is pretty much similar to marking number five because it has rounded bottom, but I would tell you marking number three tends to be one of the trickiest numbers from number zero to nine. Simply because it is quite curvy, just like number eight. It is like half of number eight, okay? However, it is a beautiful number. Moving on. So I actually use the X-Acto knife for this one and not the electric cutter, just for variety, okay? And also, um, prior to cutting this, I actually glued my templates onto the foam boards using tacky glue. That is another option that you can do so your paper is not moving around while you're trying to cut it out, especially if you're using X-Acto knife to cut it out, okay? So that is one other te technique I thought was worth sharing with you all I've also received a lot of inbox messages asking where they can get the uh, the light bulbs for the marquee numbers with lights and again that can be found in the description box on the my Amazon storefront I will link that again in the description box of this video I'm also going to put a specific link for that same goes for foam boards and every other thing that I use in my DIY videos besides marquee numbers and letters will be found in the description box below under my Amazon storefront. So now that I am done with number three, the next step was for me to add the support or wedge at the bottom to help with it standing properly. Okay, so my 45 degree angle is a little bit overlapping here and that's perfectly fine. This is the back of the letter so it doesn't really matter as you can see. The main thing is that it stands perfectly. Another question was if you can actually paint the foam boards. My answer is yes. So next for our marking number 3 and 5. This is not number 35. This is number 3 and 5 because it's for two little girls and so <laughs> we're doing a joint birthday so i got these balloons from amazon i will have the link in the description box it is lol surprise so <laughs> they do love that cartoon so we're actually using that to fill in the balloons to fill in the marquee numbers sorry all right so i will go ahead to inflate this and you will see me go ahead to complete our marquee number three and five just watch as i do this I also have a link in the description box where you can purchase the balloon palm that you currently see me using. You could use a hand palm but I find this way faster and very very efficient. Also if I did miss any questions please do drop some more questions below and I'll be more than happy to make another video addressing those questions for you all. It's my pleasure and you're welcome. <laughs> Alright, so to put in the balloons, I'll be using these glue dots. I will not be using the low temperature um, hot glue or glue gun, the low temperature glue gun which I had used in my marking number 18. Even though that works just fine, I'm using glue dots for this one because I want to be able to easily rip them out for the kids to play with. Alright, so um, this actually held up pretty well and I really really loved how it turned out. My only issue here was that we didn't have enough 5 inch balloons. As you can see you'll see some gaps but I feel that I was able to spread it out enough for us to be able to you know have a pretty look okay. <laughs> 
I am doing the same thing for the marking number five using the glue dots to actually put in the balloons and also use the five inch balloons to fill in the gaps again we didn't have enough of those but it still worked just fine okay this is a house party just us the kids family and that was about it so this is how our final look turned out Please do let me know in the comment section what your thoughts are about this marking number 3 and 5 and also if you have any more questions. I got these beautiful cakes from Mambo Cakes and Treats. They're just as beautiful on the inside and tasty just as the look on the outside. Trust me. Here are tote bags on my previous marquee numbers and letters and that brings us to the end of this video. If you did enjoy this video, please do not forget to hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you do not miss a thing. In the meantime, always remember to be your fun self no matter what life throws at you. Thank you for watching and have a great day.